What do you have to say to your constituents back home? Do you have any comments? Not guilty. I'm fighting these charges. State Senator Robert Ort confident he will be vindicated on all three felony charges brought against him by an Albany grand jury. I am saddened and I'm sickened at the ridiculous and baseless charges that have been put against me. Ort pleaded not guilty to three felony counts of filing a false instrument Thursday. Attorney General Eric Schneiderman says an investigation revealed during Ort's time as mayor of North Tonawanda in 2012 to 2013, he participated in an illegal scheme to pad his own pocket using taxpayer dollars. Schneiderman saying Ort, knowing he would make less money as mayor than his previous job as clerk and treasurer, worked with others to pay his wife for a job she did no actual work. During that time, the AG's office saying Ort's wife received more than $21,000 over four years. I am guilty of nothing. I will fight these charges uh, and I believe I will prevail. He has nothing to do with this document. Right. He has nothing to do with it. His attorney believes this is a politically motivated plan by Schneiderman. But the only thing false in this case is the uh, indictment that has been filed that constitutes Schneiderman's list of false charges. Senator Maziarz, what do you have to say to the constituents in Western New York? He's, he's not talking. Ort's three-count indictment is connected to a five-count indictment handed down to former state senator George Maziarz, who Ort replaced unopposed in the state Senate. According to the AG's office, Maziarz also participated in an illegal scheme that same year, accused of using money from his own campaign committee and the Niagara County Republican Committee to funnel more than $95,000 to a former state staffer who had been accused of sexual harassment. The Niagara Gazette reports that case was settled in 2012. George Maziarz is not guilty. He's pled not guilty and he looks forward to being vindicated in the courts. Attorney General Eric Schneiderman says this investigation was referred by the New York State Board of Elections. And Schneiderman says he has prosecuted both Democrats and Republicans alike. Schneiderman goes on to say no show jobs and secret payments are the lifeblood of public corruption. Reporting in Albany, Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.